knows that I'd be bragging that Friday night I beat Dustin Reigns. But you people didn't expect. Take as long as you want, I'm running the show. And that's the one thing you didn't expect me to be bragging about. You did not expect that Ron Mathis, the rock star pro champion, the master of pain, the relentless one, the white trash messiah, is now the boss. And as I look around this ring, I see a lot of guys that I've already been owning for a long time. You got a guy who's been doing this on me that can't touch me. You got second rate Ron Mathis. My old training buddy that I left in my dust. In fact, speaking to you two, I think I'm gonna make my first match. You remember when I was beating the crap out of Sid and you thought you had any business in my arena? How about tonight? You two are gonna fight each other on hand. Then the more I look around this ring, there's Papa No Joe, a guy that got opportunity now after opportunity and failed. Kyle Maverick, a guy who looks like a hot enough cut rookie, but he's freaking older than me. And then we have you two. And then we have you two. Blessed with everything a professional wrestler needs. You got the look, you got the talent, you got the ability, but you're just a couple of dumbasses. If you knew a damn thing about this sport, you wouldn't be standing there looking at the white trash messiah. You'd be doing something and not being an afterthought. And if you eyeball me, I will ruin both of your lives. And now moving on to the big fish. As a boss, I need to talk to all my employees. But before I call this next person out, you need to remember that with your title as a matchmaker and the head of talent relations, you can't lay your hands on the champ. So Jake, get on out of here because your boss would like a word. Uh, how about this right here? Ron Mathis calling out Jake Christ. Andy gets it. Here comes Jake Christ. Attention all planets of the Solar Federation. Ron Mathis has assumed control. Oh, God. Apparently, Jay Chris handing Ron Mathis the book here. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Jay Chris has resigned. And that means he's going right after Ron Mathis. What is going on here? What a change of events. And now look at this. Mathis's goons. Oh. Man, Mathis' goons trying to stop Jake Chris from going after Ron Mathis, but they're being cut off. That's right, Jake Chris, no longer the Booker Man. Wow, what does he, this mean for Jake Chris? I think it means he can beat the shit out of Ron legally. Is that so? Is that so, Jake? I hope you just enjoyed yourself. I hope that was worth it. You're no longer in the office. You're now just talent. So tonight, you get your old, crippled, broken ass in the ring, and you're going one-on-one -on -one with Aaron Williams. Oh, hey, how about that? I Ron like Mathis. that. Well, yeah, well, Ron Mathis just made a hell of a main event. We have Jake Chris versus Aaron Williams tonight? Oh, my God. You know... Oh, 
in this ring. We want more. They can break bones. They can get hurt every week inside this ring. And all you say is more. So let me explain this to you. singles match here on Amped as Zachary Wentz goes one-on-one -on -one with the ginger juggernaut Jeremiah. But Chris Poland, what about those words we just heard from JT Davidson explaining OI4K Inc., I guess they're called now? I mean, I have no idea what to think right now. You know, Davidson's soul may be twisted, but he made a lot of good points. These people bleed in the ring for us every day, and we always want more. And I guess this is the birth of OI4K Incorporated. Well, the, the thing is, what JT Davidson said, I, I don't know if I agree with all of it. I yep. mean, he said that the Rockstar Nation wasn't appreciative of Dave Chris. I mean, what is he talking about? I mean, Rockstar Nation loves Dave Chris. Each and every week, they chant so many things at him. They chant the whole effing show at him. They chant anything they want at 
he's got to be their favorite wrestler, or at least he was until this past Friday. I think I mean, that's I think that's very true, Mark. But I think you got to see it from the perspective of these three gentlemen. You know, for us, it's just fans getting caught up in the moment, right? right. We love to cheer. We want more. I think they're taking it differently. They think that we've just come to expect blood. We've come to expect every move to be death defying and seems like they've had enough. Well, I mean, the thing is, Dave Christ is great. Like yes. JT Davidson says, he might be right when he says Dave Christ is the best wrestler in the history of Ohio. That very well could be true. Could be. But the thing is, when you have greatness like Dave Christ, the, the Rockstar Nation, they expect greatness out of Dave Christ That's because right. he is great. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that personally. I mean, I don't know. I mean, all I know is that whenever JT Davidson is around people, it's bad news. Well, regardless of what we think, this newer power structure seems to be firmly entrenched, and uh, OI4 Incorporated is here to stay. Well, let's not forget about the match we have at hand here, a very big match up here on Amped, as Jeremiah is going one-on-one -on -one with Zachary Wentz right now, and Zachary Wentz is another man that has disappointed me. I mean, I always thought this guy was a good kid on the right track, but now he continues to follow his father, I guess, Dave Christ, even into this dark path. Yeah, my opinion definitely changed the moment he smashed David Starr's right. balls in a match he wasn't even in. And now Jeremiah gets thrown in, into the ropes here. Hip toss attempt blocked. Wentz blocks one of his own. Up and over he goes, lands on his feet. Oh, wait a minute there. I thought he hurt himself, but instead Jeremiah gives him a hip toss. All it takes is that one little mistake, and Jeremiah takes control. Now, this is a big opportunity for Jeremiah as well. I mean, obviously Zachary Wentz would love to defeat a veteran, well accomplished like Jeremiah. But Jeremiah, if you could defeat one of the OI4K members, you never know, might get a shot at Dave Christ, might lead to a title shot in the future. You have no idea what could happen here in Rockstar Pro. That's true. Every win counts. And now Wentz, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Off the top rope. He could have been going for that casket cutter that Dave's known for. I'm not sure. Instead, Jeremiah off the ropes. Oh, into an arm track. Well done. Some rope work of his own. Impressive. Oh, a Japanese-style arm track on that one. And there's the traditional style taking Wentz down. Well, JT Davidson, we hadn't seen him for a long while here in Rockstar Pro. Turns out he was just wait, waiting in the weeds, waiting for his opportunity to strike. And what a return it was Friday at We Are Rockstar. I don't think anyone saw that coming, Mark. No, just not at all. shocking I mean, the entire Rockstar nation. Absolutely. I mean, the man had a plan. And, you know, he, he got right into the head of Dave Christ and this kid right here, Zachary Wentz. And not only did they turn on David Starr in the match, I don't know if you saw this, Chris, but after the show in the lobby, they attacked David Starr after the show in front of the Rockstar Nation in the lobby. I mean, it was just a sick display this past Friday. It's despicable is what it is. And now Jeremiah with a scoop and a slam on Zachary Wentz. Off the ropes goes Jeremiah into a drop kick. And look at this, JT Davidson up on the ring apron. Referee getting right in his face. Come on, JT, get down. Jeremiah now looks to build some momentum here. And there's Dave Christ with the shot into a clothesline by Wentz. Come on. There's a cover by Wentz. Only two. We know how important competition is to Dave, but up until now, it's always been honorable competition. Right. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I mean, Dave Chris always wanted to prove that he was the best, and he wanted to do that on his own, mm -hmm. showing that he didn't need any outside interference, any of that. Now we see Dave interfering in matches on OI4K Inc.'s behalf. As I said, a new age here in Rockstar. Oh, come on. Seems like a dark one. Just choking out Jeremiah on the middle rope. And there's a boot to the face for good measure. I 
Never thought I'd see the day that Cabby Joe would yell that Dave Chris sucks, right? I think that says it all right there. Times are strange, my friend. Oh, there's a chop by Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah, usually accompanied to the ring by Bobby Olsen. Bobby Olsen not here tonight. Very surprising, especially with JT Davidson on the other side. That's right. Bobby oh. proved before that he was more than a match for JT. Right. Wentz throws Jeremiah off the ropes. There's a drop kick right on the button by the young Wentz. Here's a cover. Two. No, not quite enough for three. Textbook drop kick there by Wentz. You know, I don't think either of us would take anything away from either Zachary or Dave as wrestlers. They're incredible. Yeah, that they are. And, uh, you see a lot of Dave Christ when you look at Zachary Wentz as well. He looks yes. like a young Dave Christ. And the style of offense, very similar. A lot of high-flying moves. You can see a lot of potential there. And I think that's what Dave sees in this kid. Here comes Wentz, charges at him. Oh, but a jumping knee out of the corner. Jeremiah. Oh, evades that shot. There's a kick to the back of the head. That potential in Zachary Wentz, clearly something JT Davidson sees as well. Yeah, he always leeches on the potential like he did with Craven. What a clothesline. Will it be enough? Two. No, only two. That was a close one. That was very close. I think Jeremiah thought he had it. Heck, even JT Davidson and Dave Chris looked like <laughs> they thought it was over. Seems so. Oh, come on. Look at this again. Dave Chris chiming in here. Come on, Jeremiah. Focus. That's exactly what he's doing. The veteran Jeremiah going to the top here. Oh, come on. Oh. Dave Chris throws him off. Jeremiah rolls through. Oh, what's going on here? Jeremiah has him. Going for the O'Connor roll, rolls him up. He Two, he's shorts. got the tights, he's got the tights, that's three. Come on. Well, Zachary Wentz picks up the victory, but that was basically a three on one match right there. I have what? two questions for Mathis. First, how do you interfere in a match after the bell is rung? Yeah. And secondly, what the hell kind of booking is this? Seriously, and on top of that, he says he won't stand for interference. Well, has he ever seen any one of his matches? Right. The pot calling the kettle black there. Here's a cover. Only two. And now Wings. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. there's a dive on Dave. And now Wings off the top with an elbow drop. Here's a cover. Two. No, not enough. Oh, it'd be a shame if Dave Christ ruined his nice shirt there after that oh, dive. Oh, yeah. We know how much JTD's suits cost. I imagine Christ is going to the same tailor. Yeah, very well could be. I mean, JT Davidson might have bought everybody in his group clothes for all I know. Although Wentz not sporting them tonight. Yeah. Dave just taking him his time. He knows in a handicap like this, match like this, his team has the advantage. Yeah, and on top of that, I mean, JT Davidson talked about how Dave Chris put his body on the line so many times. Maybe Dave Chris now knows this is his time to pick up easy victories. I don't know. Wait a minute. Split leg at 450 misses. 
And now Dave back in the ring. Now here we go, now it's officially two on one. I would not want to be Nate Wings right now. No, not at all. I mean, we've seen this kid defy so many odds, oh. but enough is enough. Here's a sit down power bomb, but only two. Dave Chris just asserting his dominance over Nate Wings. It yeah, is you're established. Right. You're right, he's just putting his weight right on the back of Nate. He has the arm wrapped up. Nate trying to find a way out. Oh, wait a minute. Grabs a leg, but Dave rolls him through into a pinning situation. Nate reverses, only two. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. Oh. I don't know what the hell you call that, but I call it amazing. Oh. Nate Wings, he's quick, he's wily, he's hard to get a hold of. But Dave, with one boot to the face, goes back in control. Oh, oh my God. Wow. What a punt there by Dave Christ. Can't take too many kicks like that to the face and keep your supermodel good looks. Man, Dave Christ, I mean is changing attitude. I, I still can't believe it. I mean, he turned his back to the Rockstar Nation this past Friday when he turned on Dave Chris and aligned himself with this sick individual in JT Davidson. But then tonight he literally turned his back on the Rockstar Nation during JT Davidson's manifesto, if you will. Yeah. That whole interview we had with him on the podcast Right. You know, just just to think that he was sitting there that whole time, you know, talking about getting that win back from David Starr, right. talking about how important it was to prove he was the best. All the while, he knew what was in store. Right. I, I mean, he said he was desperate to win, but I had no idea he would stoop to this low. Wings off the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Dave caught him. What's Dave going for here? Wait, wings up! No. Holy crap, what is happening? Oh. Into a DDT! My God! Wings back up! Launches himself at Dave. And there's a boot. Watch out! Crossbody through the ropes. Oh! My gosh, Dave caught him! Oh no. What's going on here? Oh, oh no! A sit down tombstone pile driver. Wow. That's it. Nate's done. Here's the cover. No, he's not done, Chris. I don't know how. Only two. This match continues. Man, Nate Wings, we've said it so many times with this guy. He's got so much heart, so much determination. A lot of fight in a very small frame there. Wait a minute, Wentz going up top. Hey, wait a minute, we've seen this before. Oh, oh. no, the killing spree. And there's the cover by Dave. And that's all she wrote. Well, that move right there, we've seen so many times out of Dave and Jake in the past, and that begs this question from me. Well, what does Jake Chris think of this whole thing with his brother? I don't know, Mark. We'll, we'll have to talk to him. We'll Hopefully, we'll find out at some time in the near future. Everyone wants to know what's going through the mind of Jake Chris right now. But right now, Dave Chris, JT Davidson, and Zachary Wentz making a statement here on Apt. Sabu, Yusuf, and you're watching Rockstar Pro Wrestling. Talk about a return to the ring right there. What an introduction for the returning Jake Chris, and what a main event we have in store on Amped as Jake Chris goes one-on-one -on -one 
with the baddest man alive, Aaron Williams. And with a match this big, we can only be joined by Jake's brother himself, Jake's opponent in just two weeks from tonight, Dave Christ. You guys go ahead and do your thing. I'm sitting here scouting. Okay. I haven't seen my brother uh, wrestle singles in a very long time. So I'm uh, anxious to see what he has uh, left as far as singles goes. Jake Chris going one on one with Aaron Williams here. We haven't seen Jake Chris compete in a Rockstar Pro ring since spring break, our eye pay per view back in April. And look at him go. This is what it's all about, Mark. Two former Rockstar Pro champions facing off in the squared circle. I don't think it gets any better than this. Yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, this, this isn't just two of the best Rockstar Pro has to offer. This is two of the best that professional wrestling has to offer right here. That's right. You guys mentioned two of the best champions Rockstar has to offer, and that's because I haven't held a title yet. Well, that I is will true. be the best. Yes. Once Ron Mathis' reign is over, that's my focus. Well, you hear, heard it here first, folks. Dave Chris with his eyes on the prize. But let's not get it twisted. My eyes are on Jake. Now, Jake Chris right now, I mean, he still looks sharp in the ring. He hasn't competed in Rockstar Pro since April, but he still has been competing across the nation in tag team matches. Who's his tag partner? I believe the guy sitting to my left and Dave Christ. The guy who knows him better than any other competitor ever. I mean, I can't wait for your guys' matchup in two weeks on August the 26th on Amped. And I mean, you guys have faced so many times in the past, but uh, this is the first time it'll be one-on-one -on -one here in Rockstar Pro. Actually, to be completely honest, him and I have only competed against each other 14 times in our 14-year career. Wow. One was a best out of seven series in HWA. Wait a minute, look, Jake blocks that attempt, gets the headlock takeover, now they're at a stalemate. Action fast and furious between these two equals, we have to say at this point. Yeah, I mean, these guys very even, so well-rounded, they could do so many different elements of professional wrestling, and that's what makes them such great opponents for one another. Well, let's just go ahead and call call it exactly what it is. Jake Christ is the Michael Jordan of Rockstar Pro. Yeah, that he is. A triumphant return. Aaron Williams, the Scotty Pippen. <laughs> well, you know what? I think Jake Still Christ is on right. Yeah, absolutely. I I'll Ryan be honest Kobe though. Bryant, the best. Who's, who's the Rodman? The, who? the Rodman. You don't remember that guy? Oh yeah, I remember him. That's uh, Ron Mathis. Oh, okay. My best friend. Uh, I will say Jake Christ, him being Michael Jordan, I, I think he did better as the booker than Michael Jordan did running the Wizards, but I don't know. Agreed. Touche. Right now, Jake Christ, snap mare on Aaron Williams. Williams. Well, let's talk about my best friend real quick, Ron Mathis. Yeah, uh, that was an odd comment, I thought. Uh, yeah. You have no love lost for Mathis. It seems to me, what's this about him being your best friend? Things change. Yeah, so well, people, clearly. Yeah, Things I mean, change it was a just, lot on Friday. Yeah, Absolutely right. Seasons change, but people don't. Yeah, it was just one week ago. And I'm still a scumbag. Well, yeah, it was just a week ago we had you on our podcast that we recorded, and you said you had your eyes set on Ron Mathis' championship yeah, after David yeah. Starr. The championship. The championship. It's Ron okay. Mathis' championship right now. Think about the words I said. Ron Mathis' championship. It could be Matt Taylor's. It could be Dustin Ray's. It could be Jay Christ. It could right. be Benjamin Chimeras. Could Whoever be. has the title, that's where my bullseye is. Okay, okay. And well, no fist, my best friend Mathis. I never said I hated Mathis. Oh. I said I had a target out for him. Yeah. But that's his business. He would have the same out for me. If I was a champion, I would expect friend or foe to come at me. Yeah. As, as we saw just a couple weeks ago, you taking on Aaron Williams, no, no question about your history there. No question. You guys have been longtime friends, but, you know, that victory, very important to you, and you stomped all over that injured, surgically repaired knees, uh, knee to obtain it. Tit for tat. He did the same thing to me back in 2010. 
All right, now Aaron Williams and Jay Chris still very even in this matchup as Aaron has a headlock on Chris. Well, you know what, uh, D Dave, while we have you up here, I mean, JT Davidson's explanation, I mean, personally, I I'm not sure what to think of it uh, no about comment. what you did. Uh, okay, okay. Mr. Davidson's uh, comments, I stand by full heartedly. Uh, okay, back to the action. Oh, what a calf kick by Jake Chris, and Aaron rolls to the outside. But now that we have a pause in the action, real quick, I will notice that the fans keep getting fatter and fatter. Oh, come on, man. Jeez, Dave. Suicide dive, and Jake takes out Williams. I mean, but look how slow Jake was on that suicide. It isn't the same as it was. He's a little winded right now. He's not used to the singles competition. You have to notice, Jake, throwing up the four fingers for OI, OI4K, though. Right. What's going on here? Are we talking oh. about two different groups in OI4K and OI4K Inc.? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. He's my brother. Well, Jake goes for a cover. Only two, though. Yeah, well, what does Jake think about what you just did this past Friday? We haven't heard from him yet we on the subject. We were in separate cars. We haven't talked about it. Okay. We had a six-hour drive to uh, Chicago, and we didn't say one word to each other. Hmm. He was asleep, and I was asleep. We spent 2,000 miles on the road together. Not a word? Not a word. All we right. don't talk about things of this nature when we're on the road because we are focused on the individual tasks that we had and the hooligans uh, in AAW. Okay. So that's where our attention was. If he starts talking about rock star business, right. we lose focus everywhere else and if you noticed Sunday we suffered a loss mm -hmm. but we both gained wins on Saturday and it's because we both lost sight of what we were doing on Sunday oh. because of a conversation that led to us both falling asleep all right there Jake Chris just struck the ring post with his right shoulder and that looked like a nasty fall to the outside look at this referee and security checking on the condition of Jake Chris of he course, we all hope he's okay. Down. Pardon? He better be icing that shoulder down. Indeed, he has an important matchup in two weeks. And that's exactly why you're watching right now, to see what body parts could get exposed right here. I, I better yeah, watch why I, I say that. that. Cat mutilation, he's done. This is scary here, bros. He's done. Oh! Williams gets tossed oh. back first, and there's a chop from Chris. Well, you can I'm see Jake forward. grasping at that right arm. Oh, there are chops and then, oh, there are chops. Chopped him right in that shoulder. You uh -oh. notice he chopped him Wait right in that shoulder. And now Aaron, watch out. Oh, no, shoulder first. That's right, Aaron. That's right, keep working that shoulder for me. Well, we, they Chris, call him BMA for a reason. Yeah, Chris talked about how you went after his leg a few weeks ago, but now Aaron doing the same thing to Jake. This is all about competition here. Well, that's the same That's the same right shoulder that he's been struggling with for the past two years. Oh, okay. Oh, once again, man. Once again, that was on the shoulder. Look man. at the marks on the shoulder. Oh, what a the, thud. The palm is hitting the, the chest, but the fingertips are striking the chest. Oh, goes for the super kick. Aaron Salt coming and hits a right hand. Williams able to just hit the brakes just in time. Or is Jake Chris just being slow? Here's the cover by Williams. I'm not Only trying to take two. anything from my brother. My brother is the best wrestler Rockstar Wrestling has, period. Well, you say that, but you're being really hard on him here tonight on commentary. Well, I'm his older brother. That's what I do. Tough love? It has nothing to do with love or, or being tough. It has something to do with the fact that I'm about to wrestle him in two weeks. If I look, at, it's like any, if, if somebody if, if somebody in the NFL or in the NBA or the Major League Baseball, if they're about to face a brother, are they still their brother or are they enemies at that point in time? They well, still got love. Yeah, sure. Can't you be both? No. You, no? You, the, minute you, the minute you look at your, your brother as... As your brother, when he's about to be your opponent, it's, it's tough. Now look at this, Aaron. Really wrenching back on that arm and shoulder area of Jake Christ. Jake trying to fight out of it, refuses to give up. Because you will, you will, speaking of refusing, you, you will refuse to do certain things to get a victory over your brother if you look at him as your brother. In the same way with Aaron. I didn't look at Aaron as my friend. Yeah. I looked at Aaron as my opponent, which is why I attacked that knee. 
Well, it makes sense, I guess. We know how important victories are here in Rockstar, how you gotta pile them up to get those championship opportunities. Yeah, no doubt about it. And this matchup right here has huge ramifications on the title picture. The winner definitely could be up in number one contender status. Well, once again, I should have got my rematch for the Leech Court title that I never got. All right. If JT Davidson would have been my manager, I would have gotten that rematch. Look how many times Alex Colon got his rematch. That's, That's true. Never once got a freaking rematch. Oh! oh! What a kick by Jake Christ right upside the face, and now he's going up top. Look out below. Crossbody connects. Here's the cover. Will it be enough? No, only two. Incredible ele elevation there. You're known as the high flyer, but your your brother can show that he's no slouch when it comes to that. Oh no, trust me, uh, we are both very equal when it comes to all parts of wrestling. He can fly, I can wrestle. Just like I mentioned the other day, a lot of people look at me as a, a guy who can't wrestle, but I guarantee you I can wrestle better than anybody else in that locker room. I am a wrestling machine. Well, we know what you're capable of just from watching from up here at the commentation station. Look at this, Aaron Williams has the arm trapped. What's he going for? Oh, oh man, just drops back and look at the torque on that arm of Jake Crist. Just throwing this out there, look at the, look at the killer instinct in Aaron Williams right now. Right. Look at him dissecting the body part, showing him why he should be a killer. There's no hesitation. Oh. Williams demanding that Jake Crist give this match up. And you know Jake doesn't want to give up in his return match to Rockstar Pro. What a change of events tonight. I never would have thought Jake Crist was going to resign as the booker, the head of talent relations here in Rockstar Pro, and face Aaron Williams in the main event. Incredible. I'm just going to go ahead and say I hate Brad Boner. <laughs> I hope he gets hit by a bus. Oh, come on now, Dave. That's a bit harsh. So is his breath. Well, well, come on now. Got him. Now, you really know you've had a change in attitude, Dave, when even Cabby Joe is cursing your name in the crowd. I never thought I'd see the day. Who's Cabby Joe? Giving him the cold shoulder, huh? Sandbag in that one. Aaron Williams. I don't see him having a title, so I'm not going to think about him. Aaron Williams trying to get Jake Chris. Jake shoving him off. Repeatedly here. Oh, uppercut by Williams. Once again, going for that shoulder. Look at him target the shoulder. Aaron well, Williams, he's a warrior. You know, he's he's not going to give any quarter. He's going to go in there and kick ass. If it means singling out an injured body part, so be it. Oh, oh man, a but slam Jay, in the corner. Jay didn't get all of it. If you notice, he didn't get the snap he normally gets because of that hurt shoulder. Yeah, he could have put quite put all the turn into that power slam like he normally does, but it still was effective. Jake back up. You can see his shoulder still giving him pain, but he's lining it up. Misses the super kick. Oh, oh. man. Williams rocks him there. He's got him up. Blue steel driver. That's Will be it. enough. Here's the cover. Two. No, not quite. Amazing kick out there by Jake Chris. Joe, wow. he can really take some punishment, even after all this time off in the Booker's chair here at Rockstar Pro. You can see it in his eyes. He wasn't done. As, as he was in midair, he looked at us. Yeah. If you notice, he gave us the stare. He wasn't done yet. He has too much fight left in him. That's when you know that you got a competitor beat when all the life is out of his eyes. Ooh. Pay oh, attention man. to that from now on. I'm learning. I appreciate your help, Dave. These two exchanging strikes right in the center of the ring. Who will be the tougher man here? Big forearm by Christ. And Williams comes back with the right hand, but now Jake on the offensive. Oh, oh man, what a flurry by Jake Christ. How is Aaron Williams standing? Oh, oh man, that connected flush and Jake might be out. 
That's it. Here we go. Here's the cover by Aaron. Two. No, not enough. At one point in time in Rockstar Pro history, that kick took guys out. Guys Ooh. like Jake Christ, guys like myself, guys like my best friend Ron Mathis has Ooh. elevated the talent here. We single-handedly elevated the talent. When, it, when the talent was stagnant for a long time, Yeah. after the night, the line was crossed. Yeah. The talent was elevated. Everyone's king. Oh! oh. Duck one, take one. What a lariat by Chris. Here's the cover. Will be enough. No, just a near fall. You know, no disrespect for your, to your best friend, Ron Mathis. I may not be a big fan of him. In fact, I think he's a pretty giant asshole, but he's got a hell of a job booking tonight. I'll give him that. Oh, he turned Aaron inside out there. Here's the cover once again. Lateral press. No, he gets the shoulder up. Yes, it is. Rockstar Nation saying it all right there. Both men putting their bodies on the line in this sensational main event here on Amped. Just because I know for a fact the most time that Jake's put in a match as of late is 20 minutes with a tag partner. Yeah. This is uh, going to be quite a challenge for him. Oh, rich hand strike by Williams. Jake's still on his feet somehow. Oh, oh, and again. And that drops him to a knee. Oh, asking who shall receive. He gets more from Williams. Asking for more. Oh, what oh. a kick. My God. Now, come, Dave, is there a time when you throw in the towel? I know killers don't quit. Everyone says it. But is there a time where you've just had too much punishment? Did you see my fantastic victory over David Starr at the eye pay per view? Yes, Did I give we up? all saw it. No. no, you didn't. It was a fantastic match. I beat him fair and square, clean, right in the center of the ring. There was no, no, um, no chicanery or anything. I beat him. Well, I don't know. Clean. I don't know Ooh. about. Did that, you see? But... You did win. Why'd you, you did, say oh, I'm Curtis? sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. You did win. Did you sorry. see me? I saw it. Oh! Oh, wait. He holds on. Oh, he's got to wait. And Williams with the reversal right on the arm. Oh, man. Look at him wrench the arm back. This could be it here. Oh, he man. Should have went for the other shoulder. Should have went for the other shoulder. And Jake reverses. That. Only two. And, and, yeah, to Dave's point, it was the other shoulder that's been injured in this match. As Williams now, oh, back body drop by Christ takes Williams down. I think in the heat of battle, let's get turned around. Maybe you just grabbed the wrong appendage. Well, with a guy like Aaron Williams and his caliber, no, he didn't forget. No, he, he, no. Oh wait! Absolutely not. Williams evades. He probably just grabbed the first thing he can get a hold of. But if he would have grabbed that right, it would have been done. Oh, wait, what's Aaron doing here? Wait a minute, he's got him. Oh, drops him right on his head. Man, look at Jake folded up here. That's got to be all. Here's the cover. Two. Oh. No. No, only two. See, this reminds me of my fantastic victory against David Starr. The way I just wouldn't quit, the way I kept kicking uh -huh. out, the way I kicked out of his German suplex. You did. He hit me in the back of the head, I was knocked loopy, and I kicked out very clean. I saw Zach out of the corner of my eyes, jumping up and down. Mm -hmm. Pr very proud of his daddy. Yeah. Wait, Jake. German suplex, there's a bridge. Will be enough. Oh. No, this match continues. Do you have anything to say about JT Davidson's role in that match of yours against David Starr? I wish he would have been there. Uh -huh. If JT would have been there, I would have had another best friend to celebrate with. Yeah. But he just wasn't there. He was busy with other stuff. Oh, oh. and Williams with a shot to the back of the head. He's got Jake. Jake lands on his feet, though. Oh, Jake eats that boot. But wait a minute. Oh, he turns it over. Going for the backslide. Go. He's beaten him with, with this. this. Two will be. Oh. Wait, was that it? Two, three? No, only two. Oh. And there's a super kick. That could be knockout city. Here's the cover. He hooks the leg. Two. No. Oh. Only oh, two. That's hey. my best friend. Hey, hey hold on. That's my best show. friend. What's Mathis doing out here, Dave? Craven, two. Wait a minute. 
and he brings Craven out here. It's my best land. How can you condone this, Dave? Come on. He's hit. He's hitting Aaron Williams. And now Craven. And that's oh, all. there we go. Williams with the shot to Craven. As the referee calls for the bell. Come on. Here comes Chimera. Uh, it's a shame this great main event has to end this way as Chimera now goes after Jake. Utterly shameless. Jake, oh, don't tell me. He's got him. Oh! Copy of the NWO I've DVD. Done that. I've done that. Great strength. Yeah, great strength. I've done that. And Mathis is too. beside himself right now. Say, but if you notice, they're not hitting my brother. I have no reason to be upset. Mathis can't believe it. Jake and asking for a mic. Hey, Mathis, you want to stick your nose? And mine in the rock star nation's business. That's fine. I may resign as head of talent relations and book a rock star, but I signed one more match for September 4th. Oh, wait a minute. The final encounter, Jay Chris versus Ron Mathis. What? Four, three, four, three, four, three, four. September the 4th, saved by the bell, the Rockstar years. Jake Chris challenges Ron Mathis for the Rockstar Pro Championship.